this show is devoted to the FA Cup semi-final between the two sides in April 1985. Goodison Park is the venue and Brian Moore the commentator. And it's Liverpool all in yellow who get us underway on this raw and blustery afternoon here on Merseyside. A wind that will only serve, I imagine, to twist the nerves of both sides a little tighter. So often in these semi-finals, it is the side that settles down first that has most satisfaction in the afternoon. Liverpool in a chain strip of yellow, Manchester United in their traditional red. And quickly a free kick for Liverpool in the opening half minute. Taken by Kenny Dalgleish, floated in there. And behind for the goal kick. Although Liverpool claimed the corner, and indeed the referee after looking at the linesman says yes a corner it is now Leach with it back in such sparkling form a driven corner and a curious one as well although it'll come to Hansen who can turn it back once more Gitman's header or other clearance not getting very far but here's Strachan well, he held on to it far too long and wrestled Sammy Lee to the floor. The referee played a good advantage there in point of fact, and Liverpool in possession. Here's Phil Neal. Phil Neal has had some ten seasons and more at Anfield, but has never been on a cup-winning side for them at Wembley. It is remarkable when you think that these sides have met seven times in the FA Cup. And Manchester United have won six of them, and Liverpool have to go back 64 years for their last win. Well, Norman Whiteside, fiercer in the tackle, and really having a new lease of life for United in the midfield. Orbiston with the free kick for Manchester United. The jump by Neil was higher than Stapleton's. There's Rush, now Dalgleish. Rush is off in pursuit, Hogg is following him and brings him down and another Liverpool free kick. Well, there were doubts apparently about Ian Rush earlier in the week. He's been suffering with a knee injury. But Joe Fagan soon knocked those on the head when they arrived at Goodison Park. Of course, Rush has never scored against Manchester United. Dalgleish again, hit lower this time. Lawrenson couldn't collect. Stable and finding Goodman, the fullback, making the burst. And look at the speed of Lawrenson getting back. The defence again by Lawrenson, just as we saw so often a fortnight ago when he subdued Mark Hughes, which will be one of his jobs today. McGrath playing it in again towards Stapleton. Stapleton again. Here's Lawrenson. A throw again then to Manchester United. Lawrence, who had such a fine game, as I was saying, keeping close watch here on Frank Stapleton. And Robson's kick goes behind for the goal kick. A few balls being kicked and headed on that bench, I would think. On Atkinson, second from the left. And you can be sure that Joe Fagan and company are doing the same on the other one. Here's Hansen. That gashed left leg of Bailey, heavily strapped. Beglin. 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 And it'll be a throw to Liverpool. Turn of the ball. And Jim Beglin will take the shot. McGrath getting there before Dalgleish, but McDonald then beat him to it. Gidman. Hughes. Finding 
Strachan, who's having a lively spell. And here's ball encouraging Stapleton to make the break, but Hansen was quicker. So Gidman, what looks as though it might be a long throw for Manchester United. Ooh, Gobla went for it, lost it, and a chance there. Oh, and what a chance missed there by Whiteside. He couldn't have realised what an open possibility that was. From the moment Grobola went for that ball there and lost it, and it came there, and the goal now is empty, apart from Walk, but the chance was a golden one for Manchester United, and lost for them by Norman Whiteside. A long, long clearance. Whiteside might get behind this one. Claims the corner, gets it off Phil Neal. So whereas Bruce Grobelar can hardly reach the halfway line with his clearances, with the wind against him, that massive clearance by Bailey suddenly put United into a good position. Again, you can see the nets spilling out through this wind as Strachan puts one in there. Grobelar went for it and missed it. And lost it a second time as well. And it's another corner. Grobelar claiming that he was fouled. But Liverpool let off the hook twice. And this, with only 24 minutes of the game gone, is the sixth corner for Manchester United. Treacherous conditions for a goalkeeper. And more problems possibly there. And he couldn't quite get to that one, but he... Got above Hogg enough to make his presence felt. Gitman turning it back again. Stapleton's header. Here's Strachan. Finding right side. Finding Strachan. And stopped by Hansen. But corner number seven. And the United fans getting behind their team now. As Olsen prepares to put more pressure on this Liverpool defence. Curling it in there. Helped by the breeze. Robillard. Oh, and he lost it again. And Strachan trying to return it. It comes off Dalglish. McDonald eventually getting it away. Dalglish looking for Rush. Orbiston getting it back safely. Now here is trying to make trouble. Like a corner to me, and indeed it was after some hesitation. And yet Bruce Grobelar is looking hard at the referee as though he doubted it. Well, this is a pretty torrid time for Liverpool's defence, and particularly their goalkeeper Bruce Grobelar. And to tease them more is Gordon Strachan with this in swinging corner. Right under that crossbar. And the foul was on the Liverpool goalkeeper, and it'll be a free kick. Hogg's header. Robson's clearance. Stapleton on the chase, but he's got Lawrenson to contend with. Dalglish getting there fractionally before Hogg. Although it was Hogg who, in fact, with the longer legs, got the clearance in. And now Rush. And a foul by McGraw on Ian Rush. Providing Liverpool with a free kick just outside the Manchester United penalty area. Walk is poised on the far side of the area, so too is Whelan. It might be a little clipped one by Dalglish in that direction. It's played for Beglin to drive it off Whiteside. 
Olsen. And now Alderston. Lawrenson. Yeah. Oh, it's not often that Lawrenson makes that sort of mistake. And now Stacken is through. And Gravela there saves twice. Uh, he wasn't too sure about the second one. But a mistake by Lawrence was very nearly punished there by the little Scott. And United aren't done yet. As Hughes crosses it deep this time towards Whiteside. And it might come for Olsen. Just wide. The chances were there for Manchester United. And mostly they were of Liverpool's making. Well. Robillard didn't get to it. And it came out to little Jesper Olsen. And he scuffed at it, really. And the crowd here today, 51,690. And the receipts, £315,000, which is a record for Goodison Park. Off McGrath's head, but... Hogg is there, getting it back to Bailey. He really has not been troubled in this game, Gary Bailey. Lee. Leg is up for an offside. Strachan to Robson. Bit of space possibly for Gidman. throw to be taken by John Gidman who not only had 64 games here for Everton but was also an apprentice with Liverpool well here he is with the throw went over Beglin's head might come for Hughes brilliant save by Grobola lightning reactions there from the Liverpool keeper and all coming from a throw and Beglin couldn't make a contact. Hughes turning Hansen well. And there's his shots and a fine reaction save. Here's Gitman. Robson stopped by Dalgleish. But another little Scott. Strachan is there for United. And a foul by Hughes on Hansen. And the free kick already taken. The referee allowing it to be taken quickly. And then while Lee was looking up to see what was on, gets himself dispossessed. But here's Whelan. Now Lee again. Now Lee should have come for Robson. A careful header for Stapleton. Struck an outside him. More as a decoy. Stapleton going on. Played back towards Olsen. And then Orbiston. And that came off Phil Neal. That could have caused a problem or two. Corner given. A signal for Graham Hogg. To go forward. And this time, Big Paul McGraw has stayed back. So Hogg right in front of Grobola there. Right side also at the near post. Stapleton in there too. And Strachan will take this corner. Coming up to 25 minutes of the second half. And Robson!
and Robson hitting the ball against Hughes and into the back of the net. It's got to be one of these renowned Liverpool finishes now to save them. McDonald playing it on. What a fine game McGrath's had. White side battling on. Well, Beglin in first. Kenny Dalglish, McDonald, Walsh, and again it came off McGraw. And more yellow shirts are up there now as Liverpool really push everything forward in these last few minutes. And Robson gets it away. Grobla outside his penalty area. Lawrence. McGraw once again. Biglin with the cross. Hog up above Rush. Lee now. Whelan. Whelan again. A brilliant goal by Ronnie Whelan. They are going mad. And at the other end of the field, Chris Grubbler was punching the air. And no wonder. As Lee plays it in. Lovely little touch, and Whelan curling the ball. What a fantastic goal that was. Ronnie Whelan, and 1-1 with about three minutes left. So we could well be on our way to extra time, unless there is something totally dramatic now in the three minutes that remain. What an astonishing goal by Ronnie Whelan. Absolutely inch perfect. Beyond the sprawling reach of Gary Bailey. And you could hardly have got it better between the crossbar and the post. Hansen planting it forward again towards Rush. Hogg again beating him in the air. And Gitman away to Strachan. Whelan, fading again for Rush. Walsh trying to get in there, and it's Olsen right back, doing the defending. Suddenly the pressure and the pendulum was swung against Manchester United, but the whistle's gone for the end of 90 minutes. And we get 30 minutes now of extra time. What a remarkable finish, when you really would have thought or begun to think at any rate, even allowing for their fame finishes, that Liverpool might be dead and gone. Suddenly they were right back in it. And United, who may well have been planning a trip to Wembley, now they know they have more work to do. So Liverpool then start this period of extra time. They now attack the goal to our left. Neil. Now Gleish. Now who can last the better? Remember Liverpool had such a tough European game on Wednesday night. Manchester United played the previous night at Sheffield, so they both had midweek games. Dalglish. So often psychologically the pendulum continues to swing with a side that's just pulled themselves out of the hole. So that might just favour Liverpool. Olsen. There's McDonald. Finding Phil Neal. That will run away from Lee. Hogg will intercept. Strachan finds Gidman. In space. Well struck cross again there. And white side! Oh, that was a nasty bounce too for Grobola, but the whistle in fact had gone. The whistle had gone. But he hits some superb crosses, Gidman. He's a lovely striker of the ball. 
and suddenly Whiteside rose beautifully there and there was a dodgy bounce there that nearly caught Grobelar out. Foul by Gidman. then as Beglin parts the ball into the United area. Whelan again. Right side. Stopped easily that time by Phil Neal. Whelan. Touch for Rush. Back again for Dalgleish. Oh, he done it. Struck him well there. Came off Strachan's hands, but again it wasn't intentional. And the little Scott finds Frank Stapleton as United comes springing forward now. Hughes has made a dart towards the near post. Here's Mark Hughes, Lawrenson with him. Stapleton again. Olsen's in a bit of space on the far side. A deflection. A goal! United back in the lead. And although it was a deflection off a defender, Stapleton will claim it. Stapleton play through for Hughes Hughes gets it back to him again and he's got time to steady himself and although Grobelar dived the deflection was enough to beat him and Manchester United are back in the lead Gidman taking his time getting forward for the throw but I would imagine the referee is long enough in the tooth to know that he'll add on a bit of time for that. Now, John Goodman then with a throw. Strachan. Flag waving furiously, a free kick given to Manchester United. Well, about four minutes remaining. And United won't need reminding from me that earlier in the afternoon they were once more four minutes away from Wembley, only to have it denied them. 2-1 up now, four minutes left, they have the free kick. Goodman driving it, Whelan heading it away to Walsh. Now getting Dalgleish. Here's Lawrenson. Whiteside's with him, but he's shaken him off. And Liverpool... Get a corner. This really has been a cut tie on the knife edges. Now Grish floats it in. Staple on the way. Beglin back in. Hog away this time. Lee glancing it sideways for Neil. Floated in there once more towards the tall handsome, but this time the whistle's gone. of extra time remaining take your time Robson tells Gary Bailey Sun coming out fiercely now as the ball comes through to Olsen certainly shining at this moment for Manchester United just 90 seconds away from another Wembley appearance Bruce Grobelar knows he's got to belt it forward. Olsen. Stapleton on his way. Robson. White side. Into touch. And in amongst the Man United fans, Neil with the throw, looking for someone to throw it to. And McDonald belts it forward and the flag is up for an offside. The referee hasn't spotted it and the flag has come down. 
Dalglish. The cross comes in towards Rush. And Walsh. And they've equalised the game. But what United will say is the linesman had his flag up and the referee didn't spot it. And the flag went down as the referee allowed the game to go on. United will feel aggrieved. But Liverpool are delighted. Dalglish played it in. And although it was Rush's header in the end, it's Walsh who finally forces it over the line. There's Dalglish's cross. Rush at last showing true Rush form. A great leap by Bailey. He couldn't hold it out. And Walsh who shepherds it over the line. 2-2. What an astonishing semi-final this has been. Twice Manchester United have been planning their trip to Wembley. And twice, Liverpool dramatically have said, hold on a second. Well, we've had 30 seconds of time added on. The referee looking at his watch, put it to his ear to make sure it was still going. And this dramatic semi-final is over at last except that they have to meet again at Main Road, Manchester on Wednesday night. What an amazing finale. So they'd do it all again, and they wouldn't have to wait long. The replay, just four days later, is coming up next.